friends? It's time for another episode with Big Bob. First of all, you'd like to know what a Bob is. A Bob is one of those guys that lives with a single woman, he doesn't have a job, and he spends all day long while she's at work playing video games, smoking Newports and drinking beer. Well, I'm Big Bob, and the traits of a Bob is the only time he does anything around the house is when he's threatened to get put out. I'm Big Bob and I show you how to do things around the house to keep from getting put out because every time you do something around the house, it buys you a little more time. Well, maybe a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months, but everybody knows a Bob. And if you fit that description, you are a Bob. Well, today it's a little bit different because Big Bob has got a problem. I've got a strange problem with my garage door. Every time my Bob Bat leaves the house at about 10 o'clock on a Saturday morning or Sunday morning going to church, the garage door goes up, but it won't come back down. And I've looked at it, I've checked it out, I've got to put the door down manually every time this happens. One day she actually went to work and left the door up, and I found it out that it was still up, so I had to attack the problem. So after I went outside, I saw that there's a strange phenomenon that's happening right now in this early spring here. The shadow from the garage is cutting across the door and the sun is making the electric IC two tones. And that's causing a problem with the garage door going up and down. And if you come with me, I'll show you. But if you can solve that problem for your lady as Big Bob will show you, It'll buy you some more time around the house. Hey, it's Big Bob here. I got a unique problem with my garage door. When my wife leaves sometimes to go out on a, like a Saturday morning at about 10 o'clock, the garage door won't go down. At one time she went off and left it up and she didn't realize it. But the problem is, as I assess, is a problem with a beam of light coming across the garage door when one side of the sun casts a shadow on the edge of the garage onto the floor. So it sees two tones of light, light and dark, and it can't distinguish which one it is and for some reason it makes the whole system go haywire. I actually have to take the latch off the garage door and let it down and then uh, let it let it back up later on then it works fine. So I'm going to attempt to show you that today This is the garage door working fine. This is normal procedure for the garage door And if you look out at the front of the garage, you can see the shadow that's in question. And as the sun moves uh, a little bit higher in the sky, that shadow will actually break across the uh, inside of the edge of the garage. And uh, we'll show that a little bit later today. Yeah, the time is almost 10 o'clock. It's about two minutes to 10. And uh, that's about the time that always happens. So at uh, a couple of minutes, uh, the shadow should be over the door. Like I explained, I'll zoom in on it a little bit later also and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to see if it happens again. So it, I'm going to let the door up and then attempt to put it down. I'm letting up the door. <laughs> Okay, there's the shadow in question. It starts from over there outside the garage door. And it comes in at a diagonal. It's still not quite in the right spot. So we're going to wait a little bit later on. See what happens. Right 
right here is where I, I will attempt to let the garage door down just to see what happens. It might do it, it might not, it might not quite be there. And there you have it. This is exactly what I was talking about. When that shadow is right about here, halfway over, it's blocking the electric eye from sensing the door. In order for me to get that door down, I actually have to take it off the latch and let it down. Now a little bit later when the light is even again, I will actually come back and let this door down without any problem. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to attempt to reconnect the garage door and see if it'll go down like it's supposed to. And it should because the light should be even now. So let's see what happens. I reconnect the garage door. As you can see, the door works like it's supposed to. But the difference is, is that beam of light, that ray of light that's splitting the, the beam of the electric eye is causing the garage door to hang up. I thought I was having a problem with the garage door opener itself, but evidently we're not. It's just due to this strange phenomenon that happens at this time of day, and that's the only time that it happens. So. Anybody that has a problem like this, you have to be careful. Make sure when you let your garage door down, stay and make sure it goes down. Otherwise, it'll go down and then come back up and you'll be leaving and your garage door will be open and that could cause you some problems. This is Big Bob. I'll meet you back on the other side. Well, friends, I hope that little episode with the garage door kind of helped you out. Uh, the only, only other thing that you can do when you're having a problem with a garage door, especially uh, through the winter or, or any rainy season, the electric eyes on the garage door need to be cleaned out. So just take a washcloth, a wet washcloth or towel and clean them out and you'll be good to go. Ladies, we want to hear from you. If you're having a problem with your Bob, email us or give us a phone call. Uh, we'll make sure that your Bob gets some good training because Bobs, some of them turn out to be husband material. Uh, there are some bad Bobs out there. Some of those guys that have been to jail, they're kind of abusive and things like that. And ladies, you want to stay from those, stay away from those kind of guys. They're bad for your kids. They're bad for you and they're bad, even bad for your dog. So we don't want anybody abused or anything like that. Uh, we want everybody, if you got a Bob, we know you got them. Uh, just, just, uh, Make sure that they're trained properly and you can have a bob and live the life the way you want to live it. We're not trying to pass judgment on every, any, anybody, but we want to make you aware that there are bobs out there. And uh, you can email us, you can uh, snail mail us, or you can give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. I'm Big Bob and uh, it's a nice day out there. I think I'll go fishing. Where's my shot of Hennessy? Damn it, I told you to have me a shot of Hennessy. <laughs>